Okay, so it has been a while since we've done this, um, but here I am. I'm out. I'm hitting an adventure. So um, this is the other side of Tassahatchee. It's not like the main entrance, and a lot of people don't even know about this. But I'm on the side of 520 right now, and you got to open this gate, drive on in, close the gate behind you, and then there's a lot of hiking and there's Taylor Creek back here. And today I'm gonna explore Taylor Creek. I normally hit the hiking trail um, and that's fun. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go off trail today and, and I'm gonna hike along the entire creek and get my feet wet and see what I can spot out there that's like, you know, off the beaten path. Here we go. William Beardell, Tosahatchee Wildlife Management Area. I will pin the location on this post. Just gonna politely close this gate. But do you see, like, there's no signs out here. Like, if you were driving along 520, you would never see this. You would never know this was here. So, it's kind of a cool little secret spot. Look, we got, we got some swampiness happening. I hope I'll be able to cross that later. Otherwise, I made a bad judgment call and should have went the other way. We are definitely walking up to the creek. I see like the bridge up ahead. And uh, I guess we're gonna find out about walking along this, huh? Starting to see some cypress knees. So you know we're getting swampy. What's up on this mound? What do we got going up? over here. Probably should have gone the other way. There were some very clear game trails the other way. But it's my first time exploring back this way. We are, uh, we are really off trail here. I'm gonna pull up old trusty Google Maps here soon. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere going this way, y'all. I mean, I still see kind of like a trail. This isn't a good angle. I don't care though. So I have like lost any sign of a discernible even game trail of anything. I don't think I'm gonna get to get back any further. The brush is just like so deep, so thick, so dense. So I do think I'm gonna head back to that game trail, trek through this, fight my way through the brush, and um, then take the other side, follow the very discernible um, game trail that was there for a reason, and um, hit a little jog again on the way there and figure this out just take another way that's how it goes it's not always going to work out so perfectly the next time the first time second time's a charm and i'm going to follow this route it's a very kind of beaten path um because there's just no way to get across the other way it just wasn't going to happen so here's my lovely path we're gonna see where this one goes. <laughs> okay, I'm doing my back off the beaten path thing. Attempting to like actually get close to Taylor Creek. Um, this little area was like off the white trail. You can tell it's normally underwater. These flowers are pretty, I don't know if they're native. But yeah, this area would definitely be pretty murky on a, on a wet time period but Florida. Pretty gosh darn dry right now. I've poked my eyeballs out on branches a few times. <laughs> I need eye protection out here. All right, oh, we're clearing up. So I'm pretty sure this is like one of the side cuts of Taylor Creek. And as you can see, the shit is dry. This is like so dry. This is definitely would normally have water on it. I would love to come out here when it's wet probably wouldn't even be able to get this far but so yeah this would all be I mean look at this what is this like is it 
I mean, I know it's wood, but is it kind of like petrified? Like, is that why it looks like that? I don't know. Like, I'm, it doesn't look like regular wood. Like, look, it's so. I feel like it's special. <laughs> is it special? I'm gonna just follow the creek bed. I like doing that shit. This is cool. Look, it's a cypress tree missing its top. That's fun. <laughs> it's got like hair growing at the top. <laughs> Alright, let's walk the creek bed, babe. Babe. I'm calling myself a babe. Funny. We're getting a little bit of water. There's a little sprinkle of water ahead. Oh yeah, we're gonna explore Taylor Creek. Hell yeah, you ready to see this? You ready to see this shit? Hell yeah. This is absolutely worth all that back and forth turned around hiking I was doing. Gotta reference my map and decide do I wanna walk in that way and I'm walking that way. But yeah, we're gonna explore all right. of this. So I'm gonna walk around this because I've gotta go through that cut right there. Like that's the that's the creek bed. So we're gonna walk around and we're gonna go explore that. But I'm I made it. I made it. Oh my gosh, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. We went the wrong way at first, but look at us now. We're shining. Never give up. Never give up hope. It's always there. Mm, look at the water levels. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing it. There's a lot of wildlife. There's a gator. And I've seen like so many birds fly off. Did you see how big he was? I don't know what kind of fish those are. I mean, I know they're fairly small still, but there's a lot of them. I'm sure they get big. We are gonna be climbing under all this. We're still along the creek bed. It's pretty shallow over here. Oh, look, some funky fungi. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be much gators. Right here, I think they were all hanging out at the deeper part. Might spot a rogue one. We're making our way over. All right. Oh, I gotta jump here. I think so. It's wet enough. Why do I love swamp so much? What is it about it? Dude, if I could pick a spring or a swamp. Dude, the swamp, hands down. No questions asked. Now, as far as like camping, I mean, you probably want to be by fresh water. Just make sure you're all able to freshen up and not by so many. Oh, big gator. A lot of wildlife back here, yo. Gotta go that way. Oh, okay. Okay. Where are they at? How many people have recently hiked this creek bed like me? You know, like how many people are actually out here just hiking along the creek bed? Alright, so I think I'm going to go over there, because I can't walk on this side. Let's do it. Let's switch sides. Oh, what's that thing? What's 
What's that box up there? Hmm. Measuring water levels. Cool. It's kind of cool. Come on, guys. Look, isn't it like a storybook? Butterflies flying over the plants and the sun shining through the trees in the empty creek beds and the sounds of the birds. I feel like I'm in a like storybook. <laughs> That's a cool little cypress tree. It's a big one. We'll go its way up. I'm like the only one making noise out here. I love that. There's like some really big butterflies that are just like flying around. And like every now and then they kind of circle me. It's pretty cool. Look, here comes one. Let's see if it has a snake in it. Not close. Sometimes they get really close. There's a lot of them back here. I wonder what their host plant is. Like what they're circling for out here. There's gotta be a host plant. According to my map, we're gonna be reaching like the border of um, Tosahatchee here in a minute. And I don't know like if there's gonna be a fence or whatnot, or if then it treks on a private property. Really not sure, I've never been this way. Um, but we'll see in a minute where it leads and what the situation looks like. Look at that spider web. Now with the big cypress tree behind it. Like stuff like that is beautiful. Listen. It? I mean, look like sometimes water levels are literally this high. <laughs> Wild as fuck. Alright, I think that was right. There is a fence because behind us is not Tosahatchee Wildlife Management. It's probably private property. So we do, we've got a little border up here. Thou shall not pass. Right there. Wire fence. So I think I'm gonna hike this creek bed back that way. Do see what it do. I call that fish dance. be a nice spot for a break. Let's do it. There's just so much life like just happening on this log. For instance, you've got the spiders. You've got the funky fungi. You got the plants, the bromelads. It's really I mean, this whole, this log is a whole ecosystem.